In fact, there's hardly any growth economy in the world that isn't growing because it has been, t for not having been touched by science or technology. Everything. Just think about it. So if you're around running, you don't have them on your show, but if you're running around saying, I don't like science, science is bad, science is evil, okay, well then you will die in poverty if you elect officials who believe that as well. Who the fuck thinks that science is bad in 2019? And how do they express this? Do they express it through science? Okay, so... You know what I'm saying? Like, I, are they saying I, it online? I have a book coming out in a month called Letters from an Astrophysicist. Okay, yeah, but it's, it's, not, it's, it's not out yet. But I've got it. It's not... How did you get a copy? <laughs> but I, got I don't it. even have my copy yet. But I got okay? it. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying, in there, I, there's a whole chapter on just angry people who don't like anything, including science. And one of them, it's a, it's a, it's a riff. He just says, I hate that science, and that science brings some of the worst things that's ever happened to humanity and pollution and this. He goes on and on and on and on and on. And so I reply, there's letters from an astrophysicist, and I, and I reply as, as calmly and as rationally as, as possible when you, you get attacked that way. But what I'm saying is, um, not everyone embraces everything that science does. And some will cherry pick it. You have the science deniers for global warming. You have science deniers with vaccines. You have science deniers with GMOs. You know, there's, there's all manner of science denying going on in modern society. And, you know, we, uh, in a free society, what are you going to do, right? You, the people can think what they want. But if, the, if thinking what they want influences policy, which then affects everybody, then your science denial has consequences to the economic health of the nation. And by the way, it's not only the economics, it's your, it, the economic health, it's your physical health, because medicine flows through advances in science, as well as our security. Well, there's people that deny some aspects of science while conveniently using other. That's where it gets <laughs> weird, right? You're driving a car that's relying on GPS, you're using a phone to complain about the global warming hoax. You know, you're- you, Correct, you, one, one of my more, uh, more sort of popular tweets was, you remember when the, we had the photo of the black hole from a distant galaxy? And it was, it was banner headlines, maybe a year ago, less than a year ago. Banner headlines. And uh, first photo ever of a black hole. And it was an astounding engineering achievement to accomplish that. It was multiple telescopes all around the world pooling the data to get it right. And it was one of the greatest collaborative efforts we've ever undertaken in my field of astrophysics. Okay. And everybody was loving the results. So the, all I tweeted was, scientists report first photo of a black hole. Public. Ooh. Ah. Scientists report humans are warming the earth. Oh, oh you, you brought it up. Okay. <laughs> Scientist. We produced the first ever image of a supermassive black hole 55 million light years away. The response? Ooh. Scientist. We've concluded that humans are catastrophically warming the earth. Response. That conflicts with what I want to be true, so it must be false. Well, it's, that is the cherry picking of science. It is the cherry picking of science, but the, the global warming thing is very much connected to a, a certain type of ideology. Uh, does, a certain type of person who thinks of the, themselves. It doesn't matter as a to me. No nonsense it, person. What I'm saying. Right? What, what, yes, it does matter. What I'm what I'm trying to say is that is a demographic that has cherry picked science to deny human caused global warming. There are other demographic, demographics that have cherry-picked other science to deny other things. And it, it's not all located in one political spectrum, I mean, in one political branch. Right. So you tend to find liberal folk complaining that the conservatives who have embraced no, the, no global warming platform are denying science and they need science on their side. And many of those same people are rubbing crystals together to be healed by the crystal energy or they're denying vaccines, thinking that they're somehow bad for you. And so, so all of this requires some or total rejection of mainstream science. And... We, we, we're living in that world now, and I don't know, uh, I don't think it'll stop the progress of civilization, but it can certainly slow it down and occasionally stall it.